Hey, how's it going? My name is Dizza, and in this video I'm going to go through all of the best easter eggs, secrets and references in Far Cry 5. You may have seen most of these by now, the game has been out for quite a while, but nevertheless I thought it would be a great video to add to this channel. So, in no particular order, here we go. Easter egg number 1. It is no secret that the antagonist in Far Cry 5 is a religious cult leader, and the game draws heavily from the Bible. But did you know that the loading screen that is shown when you first start up the game is actually an imitation of the famous Last Supper by Da Vinci? And when you first meet Joseph Seed in the church, he quotes a verse from the book of Revelations from the Bible about the Four Horsemen and the Apocalypse. If you paid attention, you would have noticed that the sheriff's name is Earl Whitehorse, who is supposed to be the first of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse according to the Bible. were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts say come and see step forward and i saw and behold it was a white horse easter egg 2 Far Cry 5 is a big game, jammed up with lots of sneaky little references. Throughout Hope County you can even find books and bobbleheads that are references to the previous Far Cry games and characters I am Mumu Chiffon, tailored to the crown by the appointment of King of Kriat. Blood Dragon. You like me, huh? California boy's got a hard on for jungle fever. I distinctly remember saying, Stop the bus. Easter egg three. Far Cry Primal came out in 2016, and the developers went so far as to even invent a fictional language of Wenja for the game, derived from the Proto-Indo-European language. Some players had such a deep interest in the dialect that they offered lessons in how to speak Wenja, and in Far Cry 5 you can find a secret phone message spoken in this tongue. Easter egg number 4. Another Far Cry Primal Easter egg can be found at this location, drawn on the back of the Frobisher's cave wall. Easter egg number 5. Fans of Far Cry 3 will remember special agent Willis Huntley, who makes a short appearance in Far Cry 5. After completing a mission for him, he'll try to leave the area, but there are about 10 different voice lines you can get out of him before he leaves Hope County for good, two of which make reference to previous protagonists Jason Brody from Far Cry 3 and DJ Gale from Far Cry 4. One time I wound up babysitting this SoCal douchebag who got his friends caught by slavers in the Rook Islands. Never did follow up to see what happened to him. The first lesson they teach you in the CIA is never care about a patsy. Here's a pro tip for you, deputy. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to use a patsy, find out what their father issue is before you get started. I found a guy in Karat, American on the inside and useful on the outside. Dangled some intel about his long lost daddy, and he was only too eager to help out. Everyone wants closure. Here's the sad truth nobody ever really gets it. Easter egg six. 
keep probing Willis and he will eventually talk about the Hope County Troubles being a low priority for him, as well as allude to his knowledge about the Mars Invasion, which is a reference to the Lost on Mars DLC. I know this cult business is really bad, but on the list of top 10 problems in the world at this moment, it's number 17. Sweden, Des Moines, Cuba, Montreal, and get this, Mars. They're all in shambles. Easter Egg 7 After a bit of exploration in Jacob's region, you have probably stumbled across the Gorn Squatch and Prepper Stash mission. But did you know that if you travel south, you can actually find a camera and bait set up for the big guy? I'll never look at fog the same way again. Easter Egg 8 At the top of Jacob's region you will find a location called the St. Francis Veteran Center. This is the building that Jacob uses to brainwash his captives into mindless killers. But did you know, according to legend, St. Francis of Assisi is actually famous for taming a wild wolf. Jacob Seed also experiments with music and bliss to tame wild wolves. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. Easter egg number 9 There are some truly creepy moments in Far Cry 5, but a couple that stand out to me are the IT Easter eggs that can be found in two separate locations. Easter Egg 10 Now, let's talk about old mate Larry Parker. When you first meet this mad scientist, he mentions the name Anne numerous times, but we never actually got to see this mysterious woman. It turns out that she is in fact a character you get to meet in the Lost on Mars DLC that came out a few months later. Also, if you have the subtitle switched on, you may have noticed a little hint when Larry speaks about the dynamic laser capacitor. These three words are capitalised and spells out DLC, which he also says is complete. Speaking of thrills, it's done! The dynamic laser capacitor is complete! The real fun is about to begin! When you go to say goodbye to poor Larry, step into the teleportation device and you will get a brief glimpse of a new type of enemy. And lastly, if you like collectibles and games, there are 12 comics you can collect from three different series, which are all named after the post-launch DLC. Easter Egg number 11. Within the opening hour of the game, you will find yourself in Dutch's bunker. Approach the wall close by and you will find the words, The world is a diagonal. I am the balancing point. This is the exact phrase Vars uses in Far Cry 3 while approaching him for the final battle. The world is a diagonal. I am the balancing point. Easter Egg 12. 
Now, if you're in Jacob's region, there is a radio station that you can tune into that plays only a static noise on a 20 second loop. It sounds quite eerie, but if you paid attention, the exact same radio signal can be found in Far Cry 3 in the control room during the Medusa's core mission. Easter Egg 13 While completing the mission for Willis, you'll be tasked with searching for an item hidden within a bunker. But what is also in this bunker is a little note. On this note are the names Dimitri and G. Voronina, both of who are previous Assassin's Creed characters. Assassins are also famous for their leap of faith, and you'll get a chance to perform one of these during a quest for Faith Seed. Easter Egg 14 Last but not least we have a funny one. There is a character in the game called Zip Kupka. Willis tells us that the guy is sometimes correct about his conspiracy theories. There's an individual in this area I need to warn you about. Zip Kupka. He's one of those conspiracy theorists. But the guy's actually right about a lot of things. Well, if you look at this location, you will find a note that tells us that the famous multi-billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk is responsible for... Baby farms? And that's it. All of my favourite and best easter eggs and secrets in Far Cry 5. There are some other easter eggs that didn't make today's list, especially the ones from the DLCs, but perhaps I'll talk about that another time. Thanks for hanging out and watching another video from Stone Edge Gameplay. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Until next time, my name is Dizza. I'll see you on the next one.